Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be doing the new trend which is the cling film nail. So it's like a 3D cling film nail with lots of different things and then we will encapsulate. So um, keep watching. So first one I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use nail pops for this. So this first one I'm just going to use a um, milky white builder gel. It's just a really cheap one from AliExpress. Um, and as you can see, it's just like a milky white. Um, so I'm just going to pop that on the pop, pop it on the pop. Yes. Make sure we put a nice, decent coat of this. you can see and I'm not going to have shot and then we're going to take our cling film I just need a little bit and I'm just going to scrunch it a little and then let's just zoom in for you let's zoom out come on I can't do it with these um Gloves on, right, there we go, zoom in. And um, so I have this here, so I'm just gonna pop it on there, sort of roughly. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get, you can use anything to do this bit, but I'm just gonna get a dotting tool and just flatten it down, and poke it and prod it. making lots of different waves or whatever you want to call them and then when you're happy you can pop it in the lamp now what I would suggest is that um, only pop it in to flash cure for 10 seconds because you need to take this um, cling film off otherwise if you leave it in full cure it'll be hard to get off okay so pop it in for 10 and I'm going to be using this pink chrome over the top of this one hopefully you can see that right so that's been flash cured for 10 so carefully i'm going to take it off because it should still stay in place there and then i'm going to pop that back in the lamp to finish curing for 60 seconds so i this is my um chrome here I'm just going to take a normal applicator that seems to be covered in blue because my chromes have leaked everywhere, which is never a good thing, but it'll do. Oops. Right. So we're just going to get a little bit of our chrome. And then just pop it on the nail. Now you don't want to rub it into all the grooves because the whole point of this is to get like a, a textured look. So you want to still be able to see some of that builder gel underneath as well. Okay. So then I'm just going to dust it off just with a normal uh, brush, like a blusher brush, just an old one. And I need to also go in and tidy up the edges, which is going to be hard to do on this pop because they're quite flimsy. break easily. But we don't want any rough edges, do we? I'm sorry. Keep going out of focus because I'm zoomed right in. Right. So we're going to top coat that now with magpies. Don't be tacky. 
Now you're going to need plenty of top coat on this because you've got to get all in those grooves. sure you get the uh, side walls and the free edge and then I like to tip it upside down just for a few seconds to for gravity to help it and um, I like to look underneath the nail I'm now looking underneath the nail and smoothing it out and sort of letting itself level sorry my hand's going to be in the way while I just have a look at this to self level it I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do, let's just move that away, is um, with a pink builder gel this time. So I've just picked up a random one that I've got in here, which is the Light Elegance one. Um, it can be any pink builder gel. That's quite cold in my nail room today, so let's get plenty of this on. Put my finger behind it like that to support it while I get it on. Scoop out some more. Obviously this doesn't need to be neat because we're going to be squidging it all anyway. I may have got too much now. You know, this method is so easy, like even anybody at home can do this. Okay, so cling film, scrumpled up, pop it on dotting tool, push, I mean you can make it as crumpled as you like or if you don't want it as crumpled you don't have to touch it and mess about with it so much so you know it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to pop that one in for 10 seconds. Let's just move this builder gel out of the way. Peel the cling film off nice and gently so we don't rip it and pop it back in and then we're going to get um, our unicorn aurora whatever you call it chrome um, mermaid it's got all sorts of different names does not it really it's sort of like an iridescent chrome powder which you can get off the internet if you put in any of those search terms that um, I just described it as. So then get that out of the lamp, okay, and you get a little bit on the, your applicator, it's just a normal makeup applicator, dabbing it in, you only need a tiny bit, and just rubbing it on. It's actually, when it, this particular one is my favourite and it looks a little bit like um, angel paper effect. Um, so those of you that have done angel paper will know what angel paper is that we encapsulate in the nails um, will understand what I'm talking about because this just looks amazing. I mean, look how stunning. Let's dust it off. Give it a file. all nice and smooth. Let's just get that edge a little bit more. Dust it off again and then we'll top coat. 
Look at that. That's just stunning. Again, you're going to need lots of top coat to get in all of those ridges. I mean, you could encapsulate this with gel if you wanted to. But for you home users, just make sure that you put lots of top coat on. Getting all of those gaps. Okay. Make sure you get your edges. And then put a little bit more on. Generous layer. Float it on and then turn it upside down to smooth it out. Now I'm just going to have a look upside down and let gravity do its thing. Sorry if my arm is in the way or sorry if I'm not in shot at all. Not sure which one it's going to be. So I'm going to pop on the lamp for 60 seconds. So this time I thought I would try a base colour. So I'm just going to try black on my little pop. So I'm just putting that on. For 60 seconds. No, oh, no, I'm not. I just knocked it. My finger. That's why it went in. Okay, pop that in. Wipe the top of my finger. Um, and then while I'm doing that, what I did is I just got, oh, excuse the black mess down there. Okay, so. I just, I'm just using a real cheap uh, gel, clear gel that um, I don't use on clients. So um, I would suggest that when you're doing this, you just use up whatever you don't use that's sitting at the back of the cupboard because, um, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect because we're encapsulating it. So I'm just going to wipe that with isopropyl alcohol and then we're going to go in with our gel. Big scoop and popping it on the nail. Bringing it down a little bit more for the bottom, not too much, and then. Let's pop that up there. Cling film. Pop it on. Any tool to push it in. And wrinkle it. Okay, pop it in for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna use this, I thought I'd use an orange chrome. Let's see what that looks like. Let's just take that off, because that carefully. Make sure there's none left. Pop it back into here. And then Get my applicator, my chrome, ready for when it comes out the lamp. So I don't want loads of this, I just want bits of it. So 
So I'm very, very lightly touching it, just very lightly. See, that's gone in there, look, because I had too much on my thing. I suppose it doesn't matter that you've got some darker bits and some not darker bits. Okay. Obviously, that's going to need a dust. So, just dust it off. File the sides. You can't really avoid getting the rough edges on the sides of this, really, because of the cling film. Dust it off again. And then we will top coat. Making sure to put plenty on. You may need to file it again when it comes back out the lamp and do another top coat. Because it depends obviously on how thick you've made it. Let's get a bit more top coat on that. I need a bit more. Plenty on. Make sure we've got those three edges. Turn it upside down. I'm just going to look upside down while you are watching this strange position of the nail. My arm is going to get in the way again. Sorry. Now I'm going to pop that in. So for the next one, I thought I'd use a red base and. So it's just a lavender violets one. Now this one turned out to be quite Christmassy when I tried it earlier. So, if you're not watching this and it's nowhere near Christmas, sorry, if you are watching this and it's nowhere near Christmas, um, put that in 30, 30, 60 seconds, then um, remember to save it for um, Christmas later on in the year or whatever. And then, sorry, that squeak was my glove, I just realised. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Wait for that to come out the lamp. Get my swipe ready. Because then I'm going to go in and build a gel. So, isopropyl alcohol, quick swipe, and then back to the builder gel. Plenty of builder gel. Pop it on the nail. I might not put too much on this one see I don't want to be too bulky then okay so put that on there need my cling film pop it on oh where's my little pokey stick That's it. Carefully peel off the cling film. Oh, you little monkey. Sit 
pop it back in. The rest of the cure. This time we're going to be using a silver chrome to get that Christmassy effect. So that's quite a silvery look. So again, we're only going to need a tiny bit because I don't want to saturate the nail with it. Sorry, it's coming out of the lamp now. Okay, so um, a tiny bit, just a few bits here and there. Just rub it on the nail. I mean, if you wanted to put more on, you could. I just wanted to make sure that we could see the red underneath as well, which I'm sure you still could, but. So you've got that. And again, we're gonna give it a file on those edges. Dusting it off. And then go in with our top coat. Gosh, I've made a right mess here today. There's chrome everywhere. And I've even got blue chrome all over me and I've not even used bloody blue chrome. And like I said before, this is super easy. You've seen me doing it four times now. Anyone can do it. You guys at home can do it. You don't need to be a nail tech to do this. Now, and again, I'm just tipping it upside down so I can see. Letting gravity pull it forward. Sorry if my arm's in the way and you can't, or you can't see, or you have a close-up of my finger. Bear with. Bear with. In the lamp for 60. So once you've done them all, I have popped them all together. I've had to take them off and snap them off the pop because one of them snapped. <laughs> so I had to do the rest and I popped them on here for you to see. So that's the finished ones. They are still a bit lumpy bumpy and obviously if they were on a client, you would file them down and um, go back in with the top coat again or encapsulate with, you know, with gel. So, yeah, I hope you like those guys. I think those are beautiful and I think I'll definitely be using this one, the Aurora one, in future. So, um, yeah. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, give me a subscribe and let me know if there's anything else you want to see. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.